Hello everybody, welcome to a special review for our latest March Martial Arts Madness Month. Today we're reviewing the 1980s film Sam sorry, Shogun Assassin. Oh my god. Directed by Robert Houston and produced by David Wiseman. Uh, starring Toma, uh, Thomas Sabaro Wakayama as uh, uh, Ogami and Masahiro to uh, Tomikawa as Daigoro. And you have Keio Matsuo, Minori Oki, Soji Kobayashi, and Shin Kishida as, are also in the film. So I watched this film. On the special 2006 uh, uh, widescreen collector's edition DVD of Shogun Assassin, released by Anime Amigo, right? So, for people who don't know what this film is, it was featured in the second volume of Quinn Tarantino's Kill Bill, where you see, spoiler alert, you see the bride's daughter watching the film, right? Uh, near the end of the, f the second film, right? And that's where I first heard of this film. So this movie was, uh, this movie is ba is based off Toho Company's Lone Wolf and, L Lone Wolf and Cub, uh, f film, uh, films, right? It, this movie basically takes the best the best scenes of the first two Lone and Wolf, sorry, Lone Wolf and Cub films released by uh, Toho, Toho, into a into a single film where the where the director and screenwriters basically like re like rewrote wrote the like screenplay and dubbed the film right. So in in the original, it was about. Um, the original Lone Wolf and Cup was about uh, Ogami. I think it was Ito Ogami of the Ito clan, who was the Shogun's executioner, who after after getting a power struggle with the um, Yagu clan, gets um, has his uh, wife assassinated, and he's dubbed a traitor. So he takes his an infant son um, escapes with his infant infant son and becomes an assassin on the road. At the same time, having to deal with the uh, samurai samurais of the Yagu clan and like ninjas that the uh, Yagu sent after him. Right. So in this film, to simplify the plot, they just made the Yagu the Yagu. Uh, had uh, the Shogun in the film, so it's basically like the Shogun. Um, the our main character was the executioner of the Shogun, right? Which is uh, and it, it is c like constantly uh, killing people for the Shogun. People are getting uh, dubbed traitors left and right, and our the Shogun fears our main character, right? Which I don't think they ever say his name, right? They just call him Wolf, which his name is uh, Ogami. So it means, like, there's, like, a character for Wolf in his name or something. So, right? So, um, he, be he becomes an enemy uh, of the state uh, when the ninjas try to kill his... Ki try to kill him and kill his wife and he, he refuses to bow down to the Shogun, right? So after having a duel with the Shogun son, which in the original manga, which I forgot to mention, the Lone Wolf and Cub uh, movies were based off a of manga, right? Which the Dark Wolf, uh, Dark Horse uh, released like omnibuses of the Lone Wolf and Cub manga, where they got like Frank Miller to do the covers, right? And they look beautiful. I only have the first two though. Um. Yeah, so after having a duel with the Shogun son, he wins, um, uh, he, he wins, like, his freedom only for his son to be marked for death, right? So, he takes his son on a special baby cart loaded with weapons in this, in the bamboo sections 
uh, bamboo rods of the cart because the, the whole cart's made of like you know bamboo rods, right? Well, there's a there's a the there's a scene where like you know he has hidden weapons in the baby cart, right? And there, there's even scenes where the kid where the the kid Daigoro, like kills people with the baby cart, right? Which I forgot to mention the movie starts off with this haunting um, narration where you have Daigoro, the kid, who's voiced by like a kid in the movie, right? Um, gives this haunting narration where he where he sums up everything that happens in the like the uh, events events leading to the to the film, uh, presence of the film. Sorry, I'm trying to do a rush review because I got walk my dog and I got a I have a, my friend's live streams uh, gonna start soon. So yeah, um, yeah. So like the movie, like I said, they took basically the best scenes of the first two films, right? Which is just our character fighting ninja, fighting female ninja, and then gets offered a job to kill the Shogun's brother who's protected by three ninja which are called the Masters of Death right which there's a great scene on a boat where you get where you get to see the Masters of Death fight like rebels which that scene on the boat totally remind me of a scene from Basilisk uh, the uh, Ninja Scrolls anime sorry the Basilisk anime right which is also called the, the what, what was it called the uh Basket Ninja Scroll. I can't remember, but yeah, like there's a great scene there, and there's an awesome climax in the desert, which the movie it, because it's based off 70s, like you know, like a lot of Toho films in the 70s had a lot of nudity and blood. So like every time he kills somebody, there's a blood fountain, which the blood in the film looks like red paint, and you get to see arms and legs get cut off. It's epic, right? There's a, there's a brutal scene where um, the head ninja, right, goes to meet the head of the Kenochi, which is the female ninja, right? And uh, which, fun fact, you might recognize some tokusatsu actors in this film. Like the head ninja is, uh, the head ninja is the professor from Ultraman and the original Kamen Rider. <laughs> And he goes to meet the head Kenochi, which I I recognize her, but I couldn't say from where. I think she's she, she's probably from some um, Godzilla film, since hence this, you know this is Toho, so it's obviously yeah uh, they, they they like to reuse actor actors and actresses. Yeah, so there's a scene where you know he um, you know like he he tells her, hey, you can't underestimate Ogami, right? Lone Wolf. So he's just like, okay, bring us your best man. And he, he brings in his best man. And she tells the the ninja, escape from the room. And he tries to, he gets surrounded by a bunch of female ninjas. And, and he basically, at the end of the scene, he's just a rolling torso. <laughs> they cut off his arms, his legs, his nose, his ears. Right? And they just, like, skewer him. <laughs> so it's like... A fucking brutal scene, man. Like, this, this film, like, obviously inspired all the blood and shit that, like, you know, Quentin Tarantino loves to put the over-the-top blood that, like, you know, Quentin Tarantino loves to put in his films, right? Um, yeah, so the, there, are, there are some problems with the film. The dialogue is both awesome and cringe <laughs> at times. Where you have awesome lines like, "They will, they will pay with rivers of blood," and uh, the, what was the other Ogami line? Lone Wolf and Club. Um, uh, I like. Uh, I swear, eternal vow, I will destroy you. There's great lines like that, but there's also cr like cringe lines, <laughs> like where when the um. The merchants of death, uh, sorry, the masters of death, are escorting the shogun's brother, right, through the desert. You, the there are rebels hiding underneath the sand, right, and and the one of 
they're like, oh man, I sense. They're all like, yeah, I sense danger, right? And like the, the, the one guy, the guy with the club, because like the, each brother has his special weapons. They all carry swords, but they all have each like a special weapon. Like one has the Elvis has a claw weapon. The second Elvis has a club with spikes, and the f the third one has like um, gauntlets with uh, spikes, right? And then the se the second Elvis is like. For some reason, I sensed something. <laughs> it was like really, really. There, there's some like cringy dialogue, man. Which if, it, oh my god, it's like it's like some of the lines in this movie. It's like they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> it's like, did you guys even watch these movies, or did you guys just cut the best? Like you know, see, you had like somebody from Toho send a synopsis of the movies, and they just took the the. The best scenes from the first two films, which this movie is so awesome, right? Because it's like they, like I said, they took all the great, all the great action scenes from the first two Lone Wolf and Cub films. That when I went and tried to watch other samurai films, right, like, like I couldn't get into them because, like, I, like this movie, like I said, is like almost like a compilation movie. Because, like, a lot of samurai films aren't, like, you know, as... Not only are a lot of them aren't as bloody as, as this film, they nowhere near has has as much action in this film. There's, like, non-stop action, right, in this film, right? Like, uh, like I think, I like, like, uh, like, the kid in the... Like, Daigoro says, like, you know, his, his father has killed, like, over 400-something... Uh, 437 ninja, and that's only like at the halfway point. So obviously he doesn't kill that ma many ninjas in the film, but he can. I swear, like, if you were to take a shot or a sip of beer, right, every time, you know, he kills a ninja, you'll you you'll probably down like uh down at least two or three beers, man. He kills a lot of ninja. Obviously, if you took a shot. Every time he kill a ninja, you would have alcohol poison. <laughs> so, uh, so that's why I said, like, oh, they take a sip of beer. But, like, yeah, he kills, like, a shitload of ninja in this film. And lots of blood fountains. Right. Uh, yeah, which the... And I, sh I should mention that some... There's, like, archive footage in the film that they didn't bother to restore for some fucking reason. But overall, the movie's awesome. It's a very short film. It's only an hour and 24 minutes. And it, the movie ends at like the hour 22 minute point. So if you haven't seen this film, I recommend wa watching it. But if, like like I said, if you're someone who's going to be, who wants to check out the Lone Wolf and Club Cub movies, there's a Criterion collection that comes with all six movies. I also have it. Don't watch this movie because this movie is going to ruin the Lone Wolf and Cub films for you. <laughs> so I would, if you want to watch both, I would say watch this and then watch this first and wait like a year or so before you watch the first Lone Wolf and Cub movies. Because like I said, these move like the Lone Wolf and Cub movies, they do have decent amount of action, but they are a lot slower, right, than like Shogun Assassin. So if I were to give this movie a rating, I would say. Oh, well, it's almost not fair to give this movie a higher rating because it like I said, they just it's just a compilation movie that they have a bad dub over. Where which Ogami and his the guy the kid who plays his son did a good job. Everybody else sucks <laughs> pretty much. To the point where it, where it reminded me of the Bible Black dub. Which I, I was looking at the credits. The screenwriter and the producer also did voices in this movie. <laughs> So it's like just like in like Bible Black, because if you if you know anything about Bible Black, the ADR they had so they had so um, such a low budget that the ADR director had to do lines. I think they got the um, Mexican like clean lady. They had to do lines in the movie in the uh, Bible Black dub because she she like like literally there's a chick like the redheaded teacher chick. If you watch the Bible Black English dub, like she, she, like <laughs> her English is very terrible. <laughs> right, but overall, I enjoyed this film, and 
You know, it's I wanted to give it an eight, but it's not fair to give this movie an eight. <laughs> so I'm giving it a seven, but I love this film, check it out. Peace.